Yo, what's up guys, welcome again to another Class Royale video and as you can see over here, I did some solid work on the Grand Challenge mode. 9 out of 12 wins, my previous best was only 6. And as you can see, I have this chest to open which contains 11.5 thousand gold and 530 cards. And what's funny about this challenge is that when I started, I went on a 6 win streak, then lost 2, and you know, if you lose 3, you're out of the competition, then won 3, and then lost, so here I am at 9 wins. I needed 3 more freaking wins and I could have gotten the biggest prize, 20 thousand gold. Like, it's pretty unfair, I got... 9 out of 12 wins and I'm getting like, what, half the prize. But anyways, I'm still super hyped about this chest, let's see if I can pull a legendary card. If you're hyped as well, make sure you drop a like down below right now. It only takes like 1 second, let's see if we can break 40 likes for this video. Cause I'm gonna open this chest in a future video. No, alright, I'm just playing. So I'm gonna open this chest at the end of this video. But for now, let's go watch some of my best battles. Alright, so here we go against this guy, I cannot pronounce his name. So, um, as you can see, he has a weird deck, a wizard, a valkyrie, and a musketeer. And I don't actually remember what happened in this battle. So, he dropped his musketeer over there, let's speed this part up. Okay, so, I dropped my P.E.K.K.A over there. And he has a big push over there with a Valkyrie and his Musketeer threw in my Minion Horde to counter those cards. And as you can see, it was a pretty good counter, like he didn't even touch my tower. He's a level 8, but as you can see, he does have a freaking Sparky. And when I say Sparky, I don't know, I just don't feel okay. Like, I can beat every other deck with a Legendary, but when I see a Sparky... I'm a bit worried. So as you can see, my Pekka destroyed his Sparky and it's, or she's gonna get the tower and she's actually gonna kill his Musketeer as well and attack his King Tower as well. As you can see, bam, it's ridiculous. Like, why did he drop his Musketeer? All right, so I'm a bully for attacking level eight, but hey, I couldn't do anything. Like that was, if I remember correctly, my seventh match. Yeah, like I got matched up with a level eight, okay. His problem, he shouldn't have signed up for the Grand Challenge anyway, so I have a big push over there with the P.E.K.K.A and the three Musketeers behind her. Um, I don't know what, he, what he's gonna do, like he has full elixir, he's not dropping anything, he's gonna throw in a giant? <laughs> okay, he's, he obviously doesn't know how to play. I killed his giant in no time, he zapped my Musketeers but didn't do shit, I'm gonna get his tower as you can see, like, I'm surprised he didn't raid squid, like... Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good raid with this deck. I've made a video on this deck. If you want to try it out, I'll leave the link down in the description below. It was the video about me reaching the Legendary Arena. So, let's go watch another great replay. Okay, here's an interesting one. Okay, so here's an interesting one against Tai Hyun. I don't know. And as you can see, he does have the new Legendary card, the Inferno Dragon. So, um, I didn't know that at this point, I was super surprised when I saw him deploying the Inferno Dragon, it's, it's a good card if you know how to use it. Uh, so, he threw in his giant, I deployed my pack as you can see and let's speed up this part. Okay, so he dropped his Mega Minions, another uh, new card as well, so I dropped my Ice Spirit behind my P.E.K.K.A. And as you can see, the Inferno Dragon, the Ice Spirit did some work and then I threw that Minion Horde to actually tank for my P.E.K.K.A. because if the fucking Inferno Dragon lock focuses sorry, on my P.E.K.K.A. I'm done. <laughs> and as you can see, got his tower, he's gonna get mine as well because he does have that Mega Minion and his giant, got his tower, got my tower, sorry, uh, one to one, I don't know why I keep messing my words, anyway, so, he gave me a well played, let's speed up this part, I drop a freaking uh, collector and someone is cheering for me, I don't know who that is, but thank you if you're watching this video, um, okay, so, as you can see, I dropped my P.E.K.K.A over there, and it's, it's not, it's not clear that I'm gonna win this one, right, so, um, I dropped that Ice Spirit again behind my P.E.K.K.A. He dropped his Inferno Dragon again, I countered it with my Minion Horde pretty easily, of course, he doesn't know how to use his Inferno Dragons, his Inferno Dragon, sorry, because obviously, like, the, by the end of two times I've, he had dropped the Inferno Dragon, I managed to kill it pretty easily. So, Triple Musketeers behind my P.E.K.K.A., I'm gonna throw in the Miner as well, my usual combo, and I think I'm gonna get the tower. Yeah, will I? I don't remember. 
So yeah, I'm gonna get the tower. Bam! As you can see, got his tower. He actually killed my Pekka, but hey. I'm on full elixir, I'm not dropping anything, I just drop a collector. And okay, so he's pushing really hard to get my tower with his Infernal Dragon, his Mega Minion and his Giant, but my Minion Horde did some work, destroyed his Infernal Dragon and he couldn't get my tower. As you can see, my tower has 600 health, it was a close one, I gotta admit that. Now 400 health, 25 seconds left and I'm just doing whatever I can to not let him get my tower, but I'm gonna push. As you can see, drop the pack over there, and I think, no, he's not even gonna get my tower. <laughs> okay, so 12 seconds left, will it be a three crown? As you can see, three musketeers, three guards, a pack, yes, it's gonna be a three crown. Bam, says him, three crown, there we go. So let's go watch one more replay. All right, so here we go against Yoon. This was a nail beater, I gotta admit that. This was the raid that actually ended my grand challenge. Okay, so let's watch this one. He has a bowler and I hate the bowler. It's a good card, but I hate it. Like, it's, it's so stupid that throws your troops back. Anyway, so drop my minion horde and my guards and counter his entire push, as you can see. He didn't even touch my tower. Look at that Mega Minion go down without even touching my tower. Like, I'm a pro, right? All right, so uh, let's speed up this part. And as you can see, I dropped my P.E.K.K.A. He dropped his Musketeer on the other side. And now, like every other time, I'm gonna throw in uh, what you, well, what will I do? Okay, dropped another Collector and then the Ice Spirit behind my pack. Okay, so Ice Spirit versus Ice Spirit, he froze my Ice Spirit and that minor placement was excellent. So, threw in my Minion Horde as well to destroy his Giant, like that was pathetic. Why would he throw a Giant to like defend? Anyway, so, killed his uh, stupid Bowler as well. I didn't manage to uh, hit his tower, but I'm on an Elixir advantage, so. Drop my pack over there and 25 seconds until double elixir. As you can see, he's just waiting for his elixir to fill up. He threw in that bowler again. I hate the bowler so much. Like, uh, so drop my triple musketeers over there. Gonna destroy his bowler in no time. He's gonna throw a poison spell, but that miner actually tanked for my two musketeers. And yeah, he managed to kill them. They did not attack his tower, unfortunately. This was such a good raid, like, I deserved to win, but I was so, like, worried that I would, I, if I lost, I would be out of the Grand Talents, and that's what happened in the end, so. As you can see, he has a good push over there with his Giant and his Mega Minion, got my tower down to 900 health, because he has that stupid Poison spell as well. Now, that was a stupid move on me, I was like in a rush and I wanted to get his tower as soon as possible and as you can see, look at that, the miner tanked, the two musketeers are almost dead, like, I could have won, but he dropped his fucking giant and the one musketeer got distracted and I wasn't able to get his tower, only 800 health left. I dropped my minion horde to destroy his giant over there and as you can see, this match is gonna go on overtime. And okay, his tower has 800 health, mine has 900, his bowler actually killed my triple musketeers, that was very nice of him. And I threw in that miner because I was expecting for my musketeers to live, right? But actually they died. And his tower now, his right tower has 1100 health, and look at him, like, he's pushing me, I have a good push over there, I have a guard tanking, and all six of my minions, he zapped them. And look at that, let's, uh, okay, so look at this, look at this, so close, that fucking ice spirit he dropped distracted two of my minions, I could have won if he didn't drop that, he has a good push over there but it's kinda slow, so his tower has 400 health, look at this, alright, so 300 health, 200 health, if I had my two other minions I could have won, look at this, drop my collector over there to distract, his uh, giant and his mega minion, but that minion over there was not enough to get his tower. Bam! 100 health left, and uh, at this point I'm just doomed. He's gonna get the tower. I do have a zap spell, it's not gonna be enough to destroy his tower and the miner, as you can see next, but I won't have time for that. And bam! 
lost one to zero. That was such a close one. So here is the moment we've all been waiting. Let's open this test and actually yesterday a follower on Twitter tweeted me a picture of him winning only one battle in the grand challenge and getting a log out of the chest. Like what the hell? Okay, so let's open this. I'm gonna take a screenshot of course for the thumbnail, you know. So open, let's see. Okay, 11,000 gold dope. Let's see. 22 fire spirits. I do not use the fire spirits. Five hog riders. Okay, I cannot read those, but I don't actually use it. I just donate hog riders. Let's see. Six mega minion. 85 goblins. Come on. I'm filling a legendary card. Let's see. 156 minions. Okay. Two princes. Yay. I actually used to use the prince. Okay, it's fine. Three more and I can get him to level 10. Oh shit, my heart is beating so fast right now. Let's see. 209 barbarians. I don't use the barbarians, but hey, thank you. Come on. Three goblin barrel. Okay, I've gotten five epics so far. So will this be a freaking legendary? I think it will be because I've opened way too many epics so far. Let's see. Come on. No, 42 tombstones. Shit, I was so hyped about a legendary card. Dude, that shit got me so good. But mostly I'm happy about the gold. 11,000 gold and I only spent 100 gems. I was so close to getting that freaking top prize, I promise. I'll try my best to get this. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching, go comment down below. Basically, I don't know what you guys should go comment. I don't know, like comment hashtag grand challenge. Don't forget to leave a like on this video because it really supports me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Played the game and I'm still the same and I never changed it to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin'. I came from nothing to something like it's nothing. Yeah, you know I done it. That is no discussion, bitch. I'm ballin'. ballin'. I made a promise to my mama. I'ma turn these zeros into tens of commas. Bitch, I'm ballin'. Ballin'. Closing million dollars.